In this quick video, I'll show you how to calculate present value. This is question three. Kyle plans to buy a used car. He can afford monthly car loan payments of $350. The car dealer offers him a loan at 5.9% per year, compounded monthly for two years. The first payment will be made one month from the date he buys the car. How much can Kyle afford to borrow? What we are looking for here is present value, or the principal amount. We know that he can pay up to $350 every month. So our R value, which represents the regular deposit or payment, is $350. Also, we know that the dealership is giving him 5.9% per year of interest. So the interest value is 5.9%. However, it is being compounded monthly for two years, which means that this 5.9% will be divided by 12. If we do that, let's use our calculator. 5.9 divided by 12 gives us 0.49% approximately. So this is how much interest that he is going to be paying every month. Now we don't like to use percentages when working with these types of problems. Instead, we use the decimal version. So to find the decimal version of this number, we divide by 100, and that gives us 0.0049. So that is going to represent your I value. Furthermore, we need to find out what our N value is. Our N represents the total number of deposits. Now of course, he's going to be paying $350 for two years, every month. So what we're going to do is take 2 times 12. That is the number of payments that he's going to be making, 24 in total. Now that we have all the information we need, we can substitute these values into our formula to find PV. Let's do that. So we have PV is equal to R, which is 350, bracket 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.0049 to the power of... 24, and notice that it's negative 24 coming from the formula, over 0 0.0049. All we have to do now is use our calculator. So let's go ahead and do that. We have 350 bracket 1 minus this bracket, 1 plus 0 0.0049 to the power of negative 24 divided by 0 0.0049 and the answer we get is 7906 7906 and 64 cents so let's talk about what this means for Kyle for Kyle this means that he can only afford approximately $7,600 given the interest that the dealership has offered him. And so there you have it. That is how to calculate present value for this particular question. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.